Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a come to work with me stripper edition. Tonight I'm working at a brand new club here in Brisbane and I thought I would take you guys with me for as much as I can show you. I'll give you guys some updates throughout the night, let you guys know how many dances I do, how much money I make and my overall impression of the club. Priming my face. And now because we have to wear face masks, everywhere when we go outside and that includes a strip club i don't really know what to do about like makeup i assume i'm just gonna do it normally and pray my setting spray does a really good job i'm just gonna have makeup all over the front of my mask which sounds like really gross okay, this is my fake tan foundation it is just laurel infallible um i'm pretty much always drugstore unless it's estee lauder double wear which i really love how cute is my mirror i got it from ikea So the strip club that I'm working at tonight, I've never worked at before. I have met like three or four girls who have actually worked there. The door fee on a Friday is usually $60. So that's the money that you pay in order to be able to work at the club. That's what the club gets. But actually tonight it's going to be $30. So they've halved it because of the coronavirus restrictions. So we have to wear masks. And I'm not sure what I'm going to wear tonight. I was going to wear something bright. So I was planning on actually wearing my orange Whitney set. However, I just did get my Linda C in blue. And I really want to try that out. But I'm not sure if like first night in a new club is like the perfect time to do that. And I do have some like little acne there. And I should probably pluck my eyebrows, but... Whoops. I'm just gonna wait. So I've just set my base and I'm gonna have a pizza break. I've just got tomato, mushroom, cheese, and they're on just wrap threads. This is the final look. I did like quite basic eyeshadow, just like kind of like pale, sparkly neutrals and no winged liner tonight. I know, I don't even know who I am. And just these beautiful lashes holy grail of course and their glue Hang on, where did i put it i just had it oh yeah the best ever look at this packaging it's not like gross and goopy like duo so if you guys do need some new lashes definitely check them out i do have a discount code for you guys um that gets you 10 percent off so use rosie at checkout and show me what you guys get Um, but for now, I need to go and mask up and try and make some more money. It is 1am and I'm so sweaty. I am so busy. It's been great. Loving it so far. Starving. I'm just going to have my fruit cup. Guys, it, it is 4.30 in the morning. I'm deliriously tired. I don't even know where to start. I thought it would be quiet because we have mask restrictions, but I started at 7.30 and then finished at about 4. And I wouldn't have been available for more than five minutes. Everyone was so friendly and so sweet and like went out of their way to be like, hey, you're new, what's your name? Like, my name is blah, blah, blah. Like, let me know if you have any questions. Like, so helpful. 
and management was really good, really professional and also really helpful. Patrons didn't have any negative experiences except like maybe like two or three people that were like, no, I'm not here for a dance, I'll just spend money. I was like, okay, bye. I had two subscribers come in, so shout out to you guys. And one of the bartenders recognized me from YouTube, so that was really wholesome. And Leo's just here counting my money. So it's all in cash. This is not a bank transfer club. And I have a whole lot of small notes because I didn't get them changed. I probably should have. I did get a one hour booking and then I did um, half hour and then just lots of sort of smaller ones. And then my last patron booked me for five lots of 10 minutes, which is obviously more lucrative for me, but not as beneficial for the patron because if you book a larger time period usually it's like a cheaper deal um but that was really good for me starving 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 it was so busy like it was pumping from like eight o'clock there were people in the club uh, multiple booths just people everywhere and um i'm not really used to that especially in brisbane clubs it usually doesn't pick up until like 11 o'clock but yeah it was just consistently good number of patrons lots of birthday parties lots of work functions um but yeah leo is counting my money we love to see it. How are we doing? I have to, I have to count it on camera. People love the money count. Are you just grouping it for me? Yeah. Okay. So these are the 50s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have $900 in $50 notes. Thank you. These are the 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that is 1,000. 20, 40, 60, 1,060. I should probably put this up on my calculator because I'm going to forget because I'm that tired. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars in tens. That brings us to 1150. These are the fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. 85. So tonight I made $1,235 after tip out. So my tip out was um, $35. So I actually made $1,270, $1,270. And then there was a $35 tip out, um, which I'm obviously more than happy to pay considering I made over $1,000 during COVID with restrictions. So I'm beyond happy with that. The goal, as you guys might recall, was $600. So doubled that. I will see you guys later. So it's like 7 p.m. right now and I messaged the staff phone at the club that I worked at last night and asked if I could work tonight and I messaged at about 1 p.m. and I just got a message now saying that I can come in if I want to. Usually we're supposed to be there by 7.30 but obviously I'm not going to be able to get there by 7.30. I just have to get ready as quickly as I possibly can. <laughs> Just heading to the strip club now. It is half an hour later. I was able to get ready in 30 minutes. I am wearing super comfy clothes and I'm just having a dairy free up and go. It's one thing I don't miss about the valley is having to park and walk. Usually you don't get a park anywhere near like the center of the valley where the clubs and everything's happening. And I usually get dropped in. Leo is usually an absolute doll and will drop me in. But today I drove. So I probably have like a five to 10 minute walk to the club. It's just before eight o'clock. So it's currently 10 p.m. And it's pretty different to last night. It's actually really quiet so far. I think there's only been like a handful of people in the club. There's, I would say like maybe 30 to 40 girls on, probably close to 30. Um, and I've only made $40 so far. So fingers crossed it picks up a little bit. So I'm just 
walking now to go and get some food. I love that about this club that you can like go and come back when it's not your shift. So it's currently like 1.40 and I'm so hungry, I haven't had dinner. So I'm just walking through the valley and I'm gonna get something to eat. Hello guys, I am back from work. The time is 5.15 a.m. which is so much later than I'm usually used to. Tonight I did have high expectations for just because last night, Friday, was so good, so busy and just a lot of success. Tonight was not as good as last night. It was a little bit quieter and there was just a little bit more rejection in general. Still overall like a slightly above average night I would say for earnings. I worked from about 8 p.m. till 5. I was booked right up until the end. I didn't get a lap room booking until like 3 I believe. 3 a.m. was my first lap room booking. All of my other money had come from the floor did one stage set which was 20 minutes and I was booked for an hour at three and then a second hour with the same person and another girl until five. And I want to talk a little bit about how this club runs because I think it's really interesting and I haven't experienced anything like it before. So every hour all of the dancers are split up into three groups and each one is for 20 minutes. So for each hour we all get a 20 minute slot every single hour from open till close and that's sort of like our set hour. So we're supposed to be on the main floor, hustling, getting dancers on the main floor. And if we're not on the main floor, say we're up in a lap dance booking, there is a fine, like a fee. It benefits us more to go upstairs to the private room. We'd make more money then it's worth it for us to just pay like that small fee just for not being on the floor at that time. And then that other sort of 40 minutes out of the hour, every hour is sort of our time to be in the lap room upstairs, having sold a dance from our set. Otherwise, taking breaks, having food, costume changes, just like bathroom and like self-care and whatever. And just sort of still being able to be on the floor, but sort of like taking a step back and acknowledging that it's the other girl's sort of turn. Um, but if everyone is sort of busy and, you know, or someone approaches you, of course, like we're able to hustle them and get dances that way. At this club, in my opinion, the easiest way to make money is short and fast dances on the main floor like you just bang them out it's a very very fast paced quick hustle the ceiling of the poles is really really low and i actually have to like crook my neck when i'm standing on stage because the ceiling is there and my head like touches the ceiling and so obviously that means i can't really do any pole tricks um and it's just sort of a lot about floor work but that's more than okay because I'm only on stage for 20 minutes the whole night which is awesome some clubs you're on stage every single hour for like 15 minutes which takes a lot of time out of being able to go for private dances and make money that way I did have two lots of subscribers that came in which was super wholesome so shout out especially to Ella and her friend they got a whole heap of dances and they were so much fun and oh my gosh I also guys have the absolute tea so someone contacted this club basically saying they shouldn't hire me because I'm bad news. Some of the reasons that they gave were that I slander clubs online. I'm about giving my opinion positive, negative, literally everything and I think that's important in order to give a realistic overall view of the industry and the profession. So I make sure I don't speak about topics that I don't know firsthand about. So I think that it was so incredibly malicious and I think that it was really unfair and untrue this is one of those things that when you're posting so much of your life experience online you are going to get people who don't like what they see or um, just don't like you and this person has just clearly decided to not stay in their own lane stir up drama and try to cause grief for me which is kind of sad I don't slander clubs online. I share my experience online. Then when they're like, okay, like that's fine. So yeah, that was tonight's drama. On to a more positive note, money. I did miss one of my um, sets. So that was a small fee. And, and that sort of like goes on in addition to door fee. One, two, three, four, five, 
six six hundred and fifty dollar notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. And now we have 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 in 10s. And one, two, three, five, so 15 in fives. So all I have here is 825. That's what I made tonight, which is Saturday. My tip out was a $30 door fee in addition to a $15 fee for missing one of my sets because I was in a dance. So I made this plus $45, which I had to pay out a tip out. So yeah, I mean, by no standards, is it a bad night? Um, but it just wasn't as good as the previous night. But I made um, $2,000 from last night and tonight, which I'm super happy with. Love that for me. Super grateful. Another thing that I absolutely love about this club is that when you go and book a lap dance in the lap dance room, you have the patron pay the register and then the register pays you your cash. Um, and I think that is the way that it should be. I love that. So many clubs will withhold your money until the end of the night or even beyond that. Um, some clubs even use it as a tool to like force you to come back and will literally not pay you the money that you've earned. But um, no, this club was really awesome. It just straight cash to us, put it in your money bag. You don't have to think about it. I have had experiences where um, a club will withhold the money until the end of the night and then all the girls have to um, get cash out at the end of the night. And this means that when the club closes, sometimes you're waiting hours to get the money that you've earned. Um, so yeah, it's just like a really easy, quick way of avoiding that is just getting the cash when the customer pays it. I had a really positive overall experience and I would like to go back there. I think that it's a really awesome club. This is my 5 a.m. morning routine. Get home from work and go to bed for the night. And I will see you in the next video.